Okay guys, so here we are with a um, crank but no start condition on this Cougar. So the first thing that you want to check is obviously, obviously if you have fuel pressure. So you can know that by turning the key in the ignition. And listen for the pump, it should, prime, it, uh, it should be priming the fuel system for a few seconds, then start, uh, then stop, sorry. We can hear it buzzing. So now if we start the engine, we should uh, hear the pump running. All the time the engine is cranking, but I don't know if it's going to, to be audible on the phone, but let's see. No fuel pump. So I think we have a timing sensor issue and I want to check that. Okay, so let's see if we have uh, fuel. Over here we have the, the fuel port, so let's remove the cap. Don't lose it. Yeah, so we have fuel. So it's not a fuel pump issue. So the second thing you want to check is if you have um, power at the callback. So remove that connector right here. So here we have a voltmeter. So you want to put the red probe to the violet uh, cable so it's gonna be kind of tough to get something that yeah okay so here we we are in the probe and just touch the body and you should have 12 volts with the key in the ignition in the in the on position then probe for all the other ones don't create a short so this is going to be tricky. Okay, so I'm not going to go over this, but you want to basically check between the, 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 the violet cable uh, from there to the other ones. And you should have 12 volts also, almost 12 volts. So if you do, then you have a good power, uh, you, you have power at the callback. So plug that back in. So if we summarize, we have a good coil pack, we have, we have fuel, I guess we have uh, air coming, the fuel pump isn't engaging with, um, when cranking the engine, so I guess we have something wrong with the sensors. So in order, in order to confirm our doubt, uh, we can, we could change the cam sensor and the, the crank sensor over there, right in the middle, right here, or we can test them. I mean, we can see if they are al at least alive. So you can do that with a ohm meter right here. So you could, you can uh, remove the sensors and basically test. Uh, their internal resistance or you can come over here and remove that uh, gray connector here which is numbered uh, come on focus so which is numbered C3003 and we want to check resistance between um, pins number 6 and 5 for the camshaft sensor and luckily for us, pins are numbered. So here we are. Come on. So between pins five and six, if I can do that in with one hand, okay. And we have about 350 ohms. Now, 
let's see what pins are for the for the crank sensor. Crank sensor is here, crankshaft position sensor, and we should be looking at the pins 11 and 10. Let's see where are they. Over here, so one here and one here. And oh, nothing. Hmm, okay. No resistance. Hmm, interesting. So the sensor is over, over there, disconnected. The connector is now free. So what we want to check now is continuity between between this um, connector to that one. We have the black probe at uh, pin number 10. So we should have continuity from here to one of the two other pin uh, at the sensor connector. Pin with this one. Probably that one. Okay. So we have continuity here, perfect. So let's probe for pin number 11. Okay, so 10 and 11 are good. So we have continuity, so it means that the sensor is dead. Oh, and I have another good uh, way of testing my theory about the sensor being uh, basically dead. This is testing a new one. Yeah, here we are. So, I guess I'm on the good path here. Okay, so the old sensor is now removed. The new one is way back over there, reinstalled. Everything is connected back together, so... Let's try to start it. right up.